So in case you guys didn't hear, James Harrison has signed a deal with the New England Patriots. Yeah, um, this was expected after we cut him, which honestly I do not agree with, nor do I understand why they did that. I thought it was a dumb move. Yeah, I believe it was like last Saturday, December yeah. 23rd or yeah. something. And, 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 the Steelers released right. uh, James Harrison to put Marcus Gilbert in there because he was suffering a four-game suspension. Yeah, and we could have easily just cut Daniel McCullers, who has been inactive all season, and we don't use him. Yeah, now, he's very, he's really unneeded. You, yeah, you can now, even put Tyson Alo Alo in D tackle because that was his position when he was first drafted. Exactly. Now he we, played both positions. So now we don't use James Harrison, or we barely use James Harrison, which I completely disagree with. Because, I mean, if you think about it, it is kind of our fuck up because we sign him to a two year deal, we barely use him, and then we cut him. But can, I think at the time the Steelers didn't think about getting a replacement for uh, James Harrison. But I guess at the, during the draft, T.J. Wall was at the top of their. Uh, Prospect right, board, but but, but either, and we drafted them obviously. Right, but either way, you know, James Harrison is in the best shape of his life. Yeah, especially with his age. He's yeah, like exactly. 38, 39 years yeah, old. Yeah, he's thirty nine years old. He's in the best shape of his life. He's in better shape than most guys on the roster. He's shown he can still go. Sure, he's not two thousand eight James Harrison, but he can still do, you know, pretty good damage. Absolutely. I mean, he got the game winning sack against the Chiefs back in what was it, week six? I believe so. So I really don't understand why we cut him. And then uh, it was expected that the New England Patriots would pick him up because they needed an outside linebacker. And yeah, desperately. If you think about it, it kind of is our fuck up, and I kind of have mixed feelings about this. Like I said, on one side of the coin, it's kind of our fuck up, and Harrison, all he wants to do is play. All he wants to do is play, and all he wants to do is sign with a contender. I completely understand that. And I respect. I respect that he wants to play. I completely respect that. Right. And honestly, if if I was James Harrison, and I feel, or if I was any NFL player, and I feel, and I feel like I can still go, sure. I, I want to keep going. I want to keep playing. Why do you think Terrell Owens and Chad Uchocinco still wants to uh, sign a contract? Right. Why do you think they still stay in shape? Mm-hmm. But on the other side of the coin, the Patriots? Yeah, but why the Patriots? Now, yes, it was expected, but you're talking about the fucking New England Patriots, our biggest rival of the last 15 fucking years. The main team that we have to be to try to get to the Super Bowl. Exactly. So, I like, really don't understand that. Now, I completely understand, and I don't blame Harrison for wanting to win and, you know, doing what's best for his family. I completely understand that, and I don't blame him for that. I, I, I do the same thing. Right. But this is the Steelers' biggest rival in the last 15 years, the New England fucking Patriots. I would have understood if he signed with the Titans because, you know, Dick LeBeau's there, and he has a great relationship with Dick LeBeau. Exactly. But he wouldn't have signed with Tennessee because Tennessee's not a contender. Sorry, Tennessee, but you're not. Not, not this no. season. No. So, it obviously came down to New England, Baltimore, or Steelers. And, of course, he signed with New England. Now, there was a possibility that we could have signed him, but we obviously did not. He signed with the Patriots. Yeah, I believe I, it was a one-year deal for, like, what, $59,000? Yeah. Correct, correct, correct us if we're wrong. Please but correct I think, us I if think we're there wrong. was a report, and it said that he signed a one-year I believe it was a one-year deal for $59,000. Yeah, please correct us if we're wrong on that. $59,000? That's kind of petty if you think about it. Now, who, who was the who who was the last person that signed for that low month for that for that he, low he, he, month? He's really signing for pennies. That's what he's signing for. Basically. Now I don't. Now I see. It, I just have mixed react, mixed feelings about this. Like, I understand he wants to play, but sign with the Patriots and only for pennies. It's kind of petty. I mean, you got to think, this is not the first time Harrison has done this. He because signed he with signed the Bengals. He signed with the Bengals. Well, we got rid of him the first time. Well, not the first time. I was going to say the second right. time. Right. Because the first time, now, he was a rookie. Right. But, you know, at that time, you know, well, bo both these signings, you know, they were because he still wants to play. He feels like he can still play. I personally feel like he can. Absolutely. You know, but he's not 2008 James Harrison, but he can still do pretty decent damage. But why the Patriots? Why? Honestly, I don't know. He, he just wants to be with the contender, but... I don't know, it's just, I don't know what to think about. I just have mixed feelings about this. I really, I, I just kind of really can't explain it. I really respect that he still wants to play. I respect that a lot, but it sucks that it has to be with the Patriots. Yeah. It really does. And I don't blame him for wanting to win. I don't blame him for, you know, wanting to keep playing because I feel like he can still do that. And honestly, it's our fuck up for letting, for letting him go. Yeah, when he show he's shown that he can still go. He, right, he can still. Honestly, may, maybe this is Harrison's. Maybe this is Harrison's. Uh, I guess revenge, uh, to get uh, revenge on the Steelers for basically uh, us mistreating him. So I don't know because I don't know, because man. we mistreated him, and I guess this is Harrison's way of stabbing us in the back. 
I don't know. Well, maybe this is his revenge. I don't know. I don't know. I, I really don't know what to think about it. I have mixed feelings about this. Because we mistreated him, and then he's kind of... I, I mean, he's kind of... I, I don't know. I mean, I really can't explain it. I guess, bo I guess both companies kind of stab each other in the back, I guess. Because we mistreated Harrison, and Harrison signs with our biggest rival. I guess. I don't know. Maybe this is Harrison's way of getting revenge on the Steelers. Because we mistreated him. I don't know. Who knows? P possibly only him. I don't know. I don't know. Um... I don't know. Honestly, I don't know why he didn't just take the Palomalu and Ward route. You know, because because you know they I I because they wanted to keep playing, and I feel like that they could have played at least one more year. But they had so much respect for the franchise, for the organization, for the fan base, and so much love for all of that that they retired as a Steeler. They don't want their names on the back of another team's uniform. Right. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know I, I really don't know a thing about it. I mean, you know, now there is a theory going around, and it's a very, it's a very low possibility, but it's very unlikely. But maybe, and now this is very, low, this is a very low possibility. Maybe, maybe Tomlin and Colbert have finally outsmarted Belichick and Kraft. Maybe they intentionally released Harrison just so that because they had to have known that the Patriots was going to go after him. They had to have known. There's they, no way they, they, they did. desperately need an outside linebacker. Yeah, there's no way that they didn't think that New England was going to sign him. Right. So maybe Tomlin and Colbert have a plan that they send Harrison, they intentionally, well of course they intentionally, they cut Harrison just so that he can go to New England and then Harrison can give us New England's game plan. I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, you know, if you think about it, New England kind of did it to us with Blunt. Yeah, like Garrett Blunt. So why not do it with them? Especially since we got Stephen Ridley now, too. If you think about it, you know, now, it's very unlikely, but it's possible. It's a possibility. I don't know, man. I really don't know. It's a possibility. I don't know. I really have mixed feelings about this. It's it's really our fuck-up, but it's also Harrison signing with our biggest rival. I understand he's got to do what's best for him, what's best for his family. At the end of the day, that's what he's got to do, and I completely understand and respect him for that. I mean, it's a business. For, uh, right. The NFL is a business. I right, mean, but... You, you, if you want to play, you can play for whatever right, team right. you want. Right, right, and he can do that. But we're talking about the fucking New England Patriots here. Well, of course. I don't know. I, I really have mixed feelings about this. I don't know. I mean, I am still grateful and thankful for everything Harrison has done. Oh, absolutely. With you know, this with team. that 100-yard interception return in Super Bowl 43 against yeah, the Yeah, it, it basically you know, it actually, actually, it helped us win number six. Now, many people say Santonio Holmes' catch helped us win number six, which it did. But I honestly, I think it's 50-50 because if Harrison didn't at least get that interception, we probably would have lost. Possibly, yeah. So, so Harrison, Harrison definitely helped us in that game. And of course, he's the Steelers' all-time sack leader. Right. Now, I don't know. I really have mixed feelings about this. It's our fuck up, but it's our fuck up, and Harrison doing, you know, he still wants to play, and he can do that, and I respect him for that, and I don't blame him for that. But it just sucks that it has to be the Patriots. Exactly. But... I, I don't understand why he's not with the Patriots. Maybe because he wants to be with the contender, yes, but there's there's got to be more to the story. Like, I, don't know, I, know man, he, but... I know he wants to win. I know he wants a starting job. I know he wants to play with the contender. Right. But it's like the, it's like fucking Kevin Durant when he left Thunder for the Warriors. You couldn't beat the motherfucker, so you sign with him. Basically, you join right. him. I don't know. I don't know. I, I guess if you can't beat him, join him, right? I guess. Yeah, exactly. That, that, old, that's what it the is. The old saying, saying. I don't know, man. But I I guess it is what it is. You know, I definitely wish Harrison, you know, the best of luck for the rest of his career. Yeah, so do I. Because um, he ain't gonna go uh, for any much longer, even though he looks like he can. But right. But Harrison, you know, thank you for everything that you did with the Steelers. Absolutely everything you yeah, dedicated Harrison. your entire life, your entire career with the Steelers. I am, we are truly grateful for that. Yeah, uh, I am thankful for everything he has done for this team. All the great moments, all the great plays, all the great, you know, domination that he's uh, caused for this Steelers defense over the past, uh, basically his entire career. But, right. So uh, I am thankful for that. Thank you, Harrison. I, I don't know. But Harrison, I, 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 really, do, I, I do wish you the best of luck, but we do have a great replacement for you. His name is TJ Watt. Yeah, man, I got this jersey for Christmas. And believe it or not, I almost asked for a Harrison jersey for Christmas. But I decided on why. And right. some part of me, you know, is glad that I did that. Now, a part of me still loves Harrison because of what he's done for well, us. Well, I'm always going to love Harrison. Even when he was signed with the Bengals, I, I still love right. Harrison. And the thing is, I could have lived with the Bengals, because he's, he's not, this is not his first time doing this. He signed with the Bengals, and I could live with that. But this is the fucking New England Patriots we're talking about. And the team that the Steelers just somehow cannot beat, and we should have beaten, but for some reason we just can't. 
I don't know. I, well, I know we can. I, I know I, we can. I have mixed feelings about this. I really do. And I know I've said it several times in this video, but I don't know. I just, you just don't know what to say. It's just, it's just tough to deal with this, but because it, it is what it is. Because on one side of the coin, it's our fuck up because we signed him to a two-year deal, barely used him, and then cut him. We mistreated him. What's the point of signing him if you're not going to use him? Maybe they were saving him for the playoffs, but then why would they cut him? Right. I don't understand that. But on the other side of the coin, Harrison was a little, you know, a little kind of, a little bit of a snake and signed with our biggest rival. I don't know. I don't know, dude. I don't know. I, I really don't want to think about it. I really don't. It, it, it's mixed feelings for me. But at the end of the day, Harrison's got to do what's best for him. And I respect him for that. I don't blame him for that. But I don't know. I really, I really don't know what to say. I really... Can't, I, I can't really explain how, how I'm feeling right now. I have mixed feelings, but I really can't, you know, express it. It's, right, it's, I it's, get you. It's undescribable, honestly. Harrison, thank you for everything you did with the Steelers. You know, I definitely wish you the best. I hardly ever wish anybody who, who is a new Patriot the best of luck because I hate the Patriots, but this is James Harrison. You know, he will, to me, always be known as a Pittsburgh Steeler, no matter what team he's been know, with before. I don't know. He's always known as he's he's always known in a Steelers uniform to me. Well, yeah, that's what he's most noticeable for. Uh, a part of me still loves him for all the shit he's done, but a part of me kind of lost a little bit of respect for him. I don't know, but but the thing is, Steelers had to have known that New England was gonna at least take a shot at him. So, and, and one thing I want to point out, uh, going back to the whole Palomalo and Ward thing, is that the Steelers are very good at knowing when players are done. Right. Maybe that's why they didn't play him, because maybe they thought that Harrison was actually done. Maybe they didn't look at Harrison the same. Kind of like how they did know. with Ward and Paul Amalo. Now, right. I think Ward and Paul Amalo could play at least one more year, but at least they had a lot of respect and courage and love for the fan-based organization and the... Uh, uh, the Rooney family to yeah. retire as a Steeler. Right. They don't want their names on the back of another jersey. Remember, this is Harrison's second time, you know, doing this. I don't know. I have mixed feelings. I really don't know how to describe it. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below. Harrison, thank you for everything you've done in the Steelers uniform. Definitely wish you the best of luck for the rest of your career. Good. Uh, this is probably his last season, by the way. It probably will be. Probably is. Um, good luck in New England. And and like I said in the past, we will see you guys. This will happen. No doubt in my mind. We will see you guys in the AFC Championship game. But if we do, Villanueva, because I know you're going to be on that side with Harrison. If he is on that right side, you know, you definitely have to step up your A game. Right. You're selected in the Pro Bowl for a reason. you, you got to show up. Exactly. Like I said, I don't blame Harrison for wanting to continue to play because he feels like he can still play. I don't blame him for that. I don't blame him for wanting to win. I don't. I just don't understand why it had to be with the Patriots. Right. I honestly, I'm I, I'm mad, but I'm more sad than mad, really. Right. A part of me's mad, but just more sad about it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just I just really can't describe it. Give us your opinions in the comments below. Give us your feelings in the comments below. And uh, Harrison, I guess we'll see you in the AFC Championship game. Good luck. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you later. Peace! Peace.